Hey guys, it's Jared with 1776 Rental and Sales. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today. We do some fabrication here out of our shop. And we were building us a breaker rack for skid loader mini X type breakers. And as we were design building it, we're in the middle of that process. We decided for the top platform where those breakers sat, we wanted it to be in a circular design out of that plate. We didn't have a circle cutting attachment for our torch. And so we decided to run down to Home Depot, grab a part and make our own uh, little attachment. So this is a grounding clamp uh, that we bought at Home Depot um, for electrical type work. But this is what we bought. It was under, under five bucks. We brought it home. And then basically, if you can see that well, um, use that to clamp to our torch body here. So basically, put this over. I don't know if you could all see that very well. Use that and we clamp it down onto our torch. Snug it up decent. You don't have to uh, have it extremely tight. You don't want to damage those tubes on the torch. So basically once it's on the torch, that's basically what you got. And out of this top uh, hole here, put this longer bolt in. Take a piece of round rod that fit basically inside that area of this attachment. We bent it in a 90 and sharpened it to a point on one side. I might have already stuck this in too deep. So basically at this point, put that 90 piece of round rod that you have, and then you can adjust your center point from your tip to this point to, to determine what size of hole or circle you're gonna be cutting out of the steel. Um, this one, we basically will need to make some adjustments for different longer rods, for longer holes and stuff like that. But this worked well for us to, to get our job done at the moment. And so basically we were cutting a four inch, well we cut an outside diameter of a 12 inch round piece of plate and then cut a four inch hole out of the middle of that using this attachment. Um, like I said, once you tighten this up, the threads are a little stiff on this. And then if you basically measure using your measuring tape, from the center big hole in your tip to the center of this, that'll be half of your circle diameter that you're trying to cut. So if I'm cutting a four inch hole, then I'll set this at two inches apart from this point to that point to get my four inch hole. Hey guys, that's it for this video. Just a quick reminder, this is a very cheap attachment um, as far as what it costs you and I mean, it does the quality work. You could turn out some nice circles, but it's just an example of what you could do if you don't have a circle attachment and you need to cut some circles. You could go to Home Depot, get a, that um, grounding clamp and build you a little circle attachment. Real quick, real easy. It does the job. Thank you.